All right, let's take a look at question three. In question three, we're going to be uh, assessed on how to solve a system of linear and quadratic equations. Question three reads, what is the solution set of the following system of equations? So here we have a linear equation and a uh, quadratic equation. All right, so what we're going to expect to happen is, well, we have, you could have, um, you could have no solution where there's no intersection between the, um, between the parabola and the line. You could have one solution, maybe a point of tangency. The uh, line is tangent to the parabola, or you can have two solutions where the line basically cuts through the uh, parabola. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and solve this. This can be solved with a graphing calculator, or you can solve this algebraically. We're going to solve this um, algebraically. Okay. So we have y equals three x plus six, and y equals quantity x plus four square minus ten. All right, so let's label our equations. Let's call the first one equation one and call this equation two. Okay, trying to stay organized here. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to use the substitution method to solve this quadratic equation. What we're going to do is we're going to substitute 3x plus 6, the y value, from equation one into equation two. So let's write down what we're about to do. We're going to substitute 3x plus 6 for y in equation 2. Okay, remember 3x plus 6 came from 1, that is why we are plugging it in 2. If we carry out that substitution, basically what we're doing is taking this right here, da, 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 and we are plugging it in here. If we carry out a substitution, we are going to have 3x plus 6 equals the quantity x plus 4 square minus 10. Now, this is a solvable quadratic because we have one equation with one unknown. Let's expand the right side first, get rid of that annoying parenthesis. So we have 3x plus 6 equals x plus 4 times itself. You can use the shortcuts we talked about in question um, two to do this, but let's just do it the long way. So we'll fold that out. We have 3x plus 6 equals first x square, outer 4x, inner 4x, last 16 minus 10. Now let's go ahead and simplify. We're going to have 3x plus 6 equals x squared plus 8x. Combining the middle terms, your like terms. Okay, so I'm combining the first degree terms, 4x plus 4x is 8x. All right, uh, plus 16 minus 10 will yield positive 6. So now what we're going to do to solve this quadratic is we're going to put it in standard form, set it equal to 0 and use the zero product property. To do that, we'll simply subtract 3x and 6 from both sides of the equation so that it is equal to 0. All right, so subtract 3x and subtract 6. Okay, so I'm going to divvy up my workspace and continue working on the right side here. So when I carry out that subtraction, I'm going to end up with what? What am I going to end up with? I'm going to end up with um, 0 equals x squared um, plus 5x, and then plus 6 minus 6 is 0. All right, so how do we factor the right side? Well, let's switch it around first. OK, so x squared plus 5x equals 0. Now I can factor out x. OK, so I factor out x, and we have x plus 5. So I factored out x from both terms because that was a like term. Now we're going to use the zero product property, so x equals zero or x plus five equals zero. This is already solved. To solve the one on the right, all you do is you subtract five from both sides and you end up with x equals negative five. Okay, 
So there are the two x values for our solutions. We can automatically eliminate one and two. Oh, we can also eliminate three too, because x, wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, x is negative five and x is zero. So we can eliminate four uh, because the only option where x is zero and negative five is option three. Okay. Now, what if this were not a, a multiple choice question? What if it was a free response question and you were asked to find the coordinates of the um, solution, okay? Express the solutions as points. What are the coordinates of the points of intersection? So if you notice that in the question three, in option three, you have X and Y and the two points, right? How do we get the Y component? In order to get the y component, all you simply do is evaluate any of these two functions, either the linear or the quadratic, at the um, specified input values that we got as our solutions. Okay? So, which one do you think is easier to evaluate? The quadratic or the um, linear? It's just the linear, right? Because the linear, you multiply by 3 and add 6, that's it. But for the quadratic, you have to add 4, you have to square, and then subtract 10. Too many operations. So we're going to use uh, the lean, the easier one, use y equals 3x plus 6 to find our desired output values. So for the first point, all you do is you look for y at 0. Okay, so using x equals 0. So y at 0 means you're just going to plug in 0 for x. So 3 times 0 plus 6, PEMDAS this real quick, 0 plus 6 is equal to 6. So that tells us that the first point of intersection is, um, what is it? Let's write it as a parenthesis here. The first point of intersection is 0 for the x, 6 for the y, bam. All right, so that's how you do it. And then for the second point, you evaluate the linear function at negative 5. So it's going to be 3 times negative 5 plus 6. You multiply this out, you have negative 15 plus 6. All right, still using PEMDAS, negative 15 plus 6 is negative 9. So the second point of intersection is negative 5 comma negative 9. All right, so we can clearly see that the answer to question number three is option number three. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. We'd like to know what you think about this um, review tutorial. If you found it helpful in your preparation for the upcoming regents exam, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments, just post it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to respond. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to the remainder of this review series. More complete uh, more re support resources can be found at mathgotserve.com under New York regions. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.